Okay, today we're going to be looking at basically creating partitions and formatting them. It's pretty simple, uh, although it can be kind of scary. And we're going to be doing it from the command line. Obviously, a lot of you probably already know how to use stuff like uh, Gparted and other GUI interfaces. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it from the command line. Pretty simple. First things first, let me uh, plug in a flash drive here, which is empty but already formatted to a uh, FAT16, I believe, format. I plug it in and Mint will automatically mount it. Right there, you can see it's empty. I'm just going to close that window. If I type in my terminal, mount, it gives me a list of all my mounted information. And right here, you can see that drive uh, is uh, a fat, a VFAT format. And its device name is uh, SDC, and it's SDC1 for partition 1. So the first thing we're going to do, let me clear the screen here. We're going to type in sudo fdisk device SDC. We don't want to put the one because we want to uh, work with device, not the format in this case. We'll hit enter. And if I hit P, it will give me a list of all the partitions. There's only one on this drive, but if there was more than one, they'd be listed here and what formats they're in and their size, where they start and end. Um, so let's quickly, let's just delete that, that partition. We'll hit D. We'll hit enter. And it says selected one. Now, if you have more than one partition, we'll ask you which partition uh, one, two, three, or four in most cases, and you just press one or two or three or whichever partition you want. And you can do more than one part partition at a time. You hit D, pick a number, then hit D again and pick another number. And if there's only one partition left, it won't ask you for a number. So uh, we hit D, we select partition one. We'll just hit W and hit enter now to write and exit out of that. Now if we go back into it and we hit P for partition table, you'll see there are no partitions. So let's quickly create a um, uh, ext partition. So we will just say uh, n for new. It's asking if you want to make a primary partition or an extended partition. Most cases, you're going to want a primary partition. You can have up to four. We'll hit p there. It says partition number. We'll just say one. And then it's going to ask for first and last cylinder. That's where this partition is going to be on the drive. Since we're only putting one, we're going to hit enter. The default is one, so we'll just hit enter and we'll put in one. And it's going to ask where you want that to end. So, you know, if you were going to have uh, more than one partition, I can say plus 10 M to make this 10 megabytes if I want it, and then it would leave the rest of the drive blank so I can create other partitions. But I'm just going to hit enter and we'll do the default and just make the partition the entire size of the drive. At this point, I can hit W for write, so it will write that information, because whenever you're doing stuff in, in uh, FDisk, it does not take effect on the drive until you write it, so W for write. Now, uh, we still want to, part. Uh, we have created the partition, but we haven't formatted it yet, so let's do mkfs for make file system dot ext, we'll hit tab a few times, and you can see that we have a few options here. Uh, ext2, 3, or 4. Let's just go with 4 in this case. And of course, the partition name, so forward slash dev, forward slash uh, s, um, excuse me, sdc, uh, and it's partition 1. Make sure you pick the right partition because this will erase the information on that drive. So if you have more than one partition or you put the wrong device, so just because I'm doing SDC doesn't mean that it's going to be SDC on your device because uh, you might have more uh, drives plugged in and the order you plug them in, they're going to give them different letters. So make sure when you're doing all of this, you're using the device that you want to be doing. So we'll hit enter there. Oh, it says it's mounted. So let's unmount it real quick. I don't remember mounting it. There we go. Now we'll do this, and of course we have to sudo that. Sorry that. Sorry about that. sudo mkfs.ext, in this case 4, and my device name all the way down to the partition. Hit enter. Take a few seconds here, and it is partitioning. Perfect. And you can see right here this will automatically check uh, every 31 mounts or 180 days for errors, you can override that by using uh, Tune2FS, which is a program we're going to play with in, in tutorials in the next week or so. So uh, let me open up my window here. You can see now I have this ext4 partition here. So it worked. 
Uh, ext partitions automatically put that folder in there, that lost found folder for you. Um, so let's unmount that drive. So you mount device SDC1. And let's create a fat partition. Um, lots of times you're going to want to create a fat partition if you're going to want this device to work on multiple operating systems. Fat uh, partitions are in Microsoft format. They're not the best out there. They're kind of outdated. They aren't very good about uh, being um, defragged. They, they get defragged very easily. Um, I'm sorry, they get fragmented easily, so you have to defrag them. But on a flash drive, it doesn't really matter, especially if you want to uh, be able to copy files in Windows and other operating systems in, on a flash drive. You're going to want to go with some sort of FAT format. So real quick here, let's go uh, sudo fdisk device sdc. Once again, not putting in that number because we're not going to work with a partition. We're going to work with the whole device. If we hit P right here, like I said, it will show you that the, the partition name where it starts ends and what format it is and ext is a linux system so let's hit d and delete that and uh, although i don't think you have to i like to write at that point rather than continuing with the process although you could probably continue the process without writing so going back into fdisk here so sudo fdisk and the device we'll say n for new p for primary one We'll just use the default and use the whole drive. Now at this point, we can hit T for type. So this is the type of partition it's going to be. And if we hit L at this point, it will give you a list of all possible uh, types that you could use. You can see there's a lot. I'm just going to go with 6 for FAT16. So I'll press 6 and hit Enter. Now if I write it, it created that partition. But once again, we still need to format it. So in this case, we're going to go mkfs for make file system dot vfat and the partition name, which is uh, device sdc1. And we should do sudo for that as well. Hit enter. And that's it. That partition is created. Uh, let me open up my window over here again. And you can see that it's an empty drive. It's a fat 32. And uh, we can also check that by typing mount and hitting enter and you can see right here device and type and some other information there so that is creating partitions and formatting them from the command line in linux uh, to different formats so i thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's chris with a k there's a link in the description to uh, this post which might have a little more information and also on my site you can look through playlists and search for different videos and topics i thank you for watching and i hope that you have a great day